Let's talk about composite modeling using Hypermesh. In these recent times, there has been a high demand for composite materials like carbon fibers and Kevlar composites. As these materials provide excellent mechanical properties which are better than traditionally used materials like steel and alloys. In this video, we will create a ply laminate structure to define a composite material consisting of styrofoam and carbon fiber. This type of material is commonly used in automobile and aviation industry in the design of safety equipment. So let's get right into it. In case of ply laminate composites, it is very important to check the material orientations and element normals. The element normals determine the direction in which the plies will be stacked together to form the laminate. The material orientation defines the fiber directions which directly influence the mechanical properties of the composite. Let's take a look at how these parameters are set up as per our requirements. We will build the composite laminate on a simple plate geometry. As you can see, 2D mesh has already been created on the surface component. Now go to Tools, Normals. We need to check the normal direction of all the elements as this directly affects the ply laminate buildup. Ensure that all elements have their normals facing in the same direction. We can also visualize the normal vector using the vector display option. Enter a proper size for the vector. As all elements have correct orientation of normals, we can move to the next step. Open the Systems tab from Analysis panel. We will create a local coordinate system which will be used to specify the material orientation. Even though we have a default global coordinate system in the model, I recommend creating a new one. This helps to assign proper material directions in case of complex geometries. Select the node location at which we want to create the system. Now select the origin location. With X axis selector active, assign the direction of X axis. We will define the XZ plane in this case. Select any node on the plate. With type as rectangular, create the coordinate system. Now switch the radio button to material orientation. Select all the elements in the model. From the drop down, select by system ID. Now select the newly created coordinate system and assign the material orientation. The material will be oriented in the X direction by default. Now we will create materials required for this composite. We will create two separate materials, styrofoam and carbon fiber. Both of these materials will be assigned orthotropic properties which will help in assigning proper orientation to the plies in the next step. We will also implement the P comp P card image to link this composite material to the actual component under consideration. Create a new material. We will use orthotropic materials to create the plies. Orthotropic materials have different mechanical properties along two in-plane normal directions. Such a material is defined in Hypermesh using the MAT8 card image. The first material will be styrofoam. Enter the value of E1 as 484. Enter E2 equal to 100. Set the value of new 1 2 to 0 0.6. The value of G12 is 3.09. Set G1Z and G2Z to 1. Lastly, enter the density value as 1.14 e raised to minus 10. Similarly, create a new material. Set the card image to mat 8 like we did in the previous case. We will assign the mechanical properties of carbon fiber. Enter value of E1 as 75,000. 
we will set e2 to 6000. Let's use new 1 to value of 0.34. With g12 value as 2000, enter density value 1.4 e minus 9. Now let's create a new property. To define laminate structure, P comp P card image is used. Set the offset value Z0 to 0. Now we can actually start creating the ply laminate structure. We will design a simple composite with four different layers. The top and bottom layers will be of styrofoam and will serve as a padding. The middle two layers will consist of carbon fiber composite. Let's take a look at how this is done. Create a new ply. Assign any color for visualization. Select material type as orthotropic. Let's use a thickness value of 1 mm for all the plies. In the shape option, select all the elements. For this, we can use the box select, that is shift plus left click. Create the first ply. For the second ply, select material 2. We will orient this to 45 degree angle. Select all the elements. Create the ply. Now with the same material and thickness, enter the orientation value as minus 45 degrees. Create the third ply with all the elements in the model selected. Lastly, we will again use material 1 for the fourth ply. Let's set the orientation to 90 degrees. Select all the elements as we did in the previous case. Create the ply. We can see the four plies in model browser. Let's assign different colors to the plies for better visualization. Now create a new laminate. With card image as stack, we will use laminate option as total. It is important to select the plies in proper order. The plies will be stacked in the direction of element normal with the first selection being the first ply in the sequence. All the ply properties are automatically updated. Create the laminate. To link this ply laminate structure to the plate component, we need to assign the P comp P property we created in the previous step. With this, we have completed the composite setup. But to verify if all the parameters have been assigned correctly, we need to visualize this ply laminate structure. Let's take a look at the different options provided in Hypermesh to visualize composite structures. Change the visualization to by property. Switch to 2D detailed element representation. Now turn on the composite layers to visualize the ply laminate structure. We can view each element separately using the shrink elements option. To view the ply orientations, switch to composite layers with fiber orientations. As you can see, all the plies are stacked up with proper orientations.
and this is how we can create composites using hypermesh if you like this video please hit the red subscribe button and give a big thumbs up it helps a lot make sure to follow me on social media to stay updated about latest videos thanks for watching